It is Wednesday, and I cannot resist driving past this Goodwill that is right on the route to taking my kids to school. So, I thought I would do something fun today. Since I really don't need to be buying inventory, I still want to go in, and we will scan the shelves, and I'm going to try to help you with some items that you should absolutely stay away from. So it's kind of like a reverse treasure hunt. Um, so let's have some fun with that. And uh, of course, always see what we can find that we can flip for some really good money too. So let's go in. The store was a little crowded, so I decided to start in a section I don't normally start. But I skimmed through. That was like where the stationery and the school stuff was and not seeing anything all that great today. Books, I really don't even look at books. To me, books are boring. I know, I know. There can be some good money in books, just not my thing. So, came over to look at the lamp. We're going to stop and look at this. this. is a Scentsy. I always look at Scentsy products because they're really expensive to buy in the first place. So taking a look at this Scentsy Tea Rose. Let's see if it's in there. And it is. And it looks new. So let's check a comp. So looking at comps, you can tell that it's $20 if you buy it through Scentsy. And it sells anywhere from like 10 to $15 if you buy it on eBay. So not real good for reselling on that one. Peeking at the lamps, nothing too exciting. But I did spot this little jungle safari nursery lamp. Super cute. But as you can see, comps really aren't that great on it. And so it wouldn't be good for reselling. Now, this Precious Moments lamp, I couldn't find any comps on, but I tend to really steer clear of Precious Moments because their value has gone down so much in the past several years. And I was a collector, so that makes me a little sad. Always got to check those end caps, look for things. Lots of new contemporary stuff, always available. This kind of caught my eye, the, the chip and dip, but this really caught my eye, and it's a really good brand. This is Royal Wor Worcester, Worcester, Wor I never know how to say that. Worcester? I don't know. Uh, Evesham, E-V-E-S-H-A-M is the pattern, and they wanted 80 bucks with absolutely no discount on their red tags, uh, but you can see comps are pretty darn good on this set and they're getting ready to have a half price sale and I just might go back and see if these are still there because at $40 there's a lot of money to be made on this set because there was quite a few serving pieces and you can see it really this this brand uh, does hold its value so it is one you do want to pick up if you can find it at the right price. I really loved this 3D flower retro vintage coffee pot and mugs, but at $14.99, it was a no-go. This probably held coasters. It may have had the coasters in it. It's vintage lacquerware. It can do okay. And then back to the chip and dip that... Uh, caught my eye that's fixed in there and I couldn't quite make out the maker five dollars probably been would have been okay to sell locally but shipping that would have been a booger <laughs> oh Christmas stuff right now really has to be special in order for me to invest any money in it same with Halloween um, just because you have to probably hold on to it for a considerable amount of time. Okay, did you spot it? Did you spot it? 
Yes, it's Starbucks. It's Starbucks coffee mug. It is the 2017 holiday mug. Uh, lots of sellers describe it with triangles. Um, it does not sell for a ton of money, um, but I picked it up anyway. You can never have too many Starbucks mugs. Uh, these are Holland Mold Nativity figurines. And surprisingly, they sell quite well. Um, if you have a set, especially, but um, these individual shepherds probably only like five to fifteen dollars a piece but if you find the camels those are worth about 25 to 30 a piece not bad okay this is totally going home with me this is Claire the square uh, snowman I actually have Claire's boyfriend that I put out each year and I can't even tell you how excited I was to find this um, I am going to have a snow couple now. <laughs> That's what she looks like. Yeah, I didn't I didn't even care what the price was. She was mine. <laughs> okay, this had dollar store written all over it. And they wanted $2.99. Watch out for the really cheap feeling looking stuff. And these, these are Benihana, or I shouldn't say these, this is a Benihana's uh, drink. They came in a variety, as you can see, and they are pretty much worth nothing. Sponge holder. These little plates are cute but kind of worthless as far as they have no function. Um, so I'm leaving that kind of stuff behind more and more. Now these actually are quite popular it turns out. They're made uh, for Wells Fargo Bank for the, the 2013 Year of the Snake. Who knew? There's a bunch of them that have sold. That was a Chia Pet Troll. This again, really cheaply made, made to look like Majolica, but it is not. Do not be fooled. Do not be fooled. I find lots of, you know, cheap resin stuff. Just stay away from that. Just stay. Oh, here is another one to stay away from. Avon Steins. There are a few that sell, but you really got to know which ones. Otherwise, you can see, blech. This is pressed glass. It is smooth versus cut glass, which is sharp. You want to stay away from the clear pressed glass that doesn't have anything exciting on it. This glass Snoopy Bank isn't like a big money seller but it's a very popular item. So uh, I can get about 10 bucks for it down at the antique booth and it'll probably sell in a matter of days. So I picked it up. Milk glass, that's generally a stay far, far away from item, especially if it says FTD on the bottom. Probably should have looked at that Jack Russell figurine. I'm not sure why I didn't. This is a Christmas mug. So even though it's a really cute little kitty and mouse on there, I left it behind. This is Mikasa candy dish. And as you can see, comps are pretty bad on it. I like sand timers. They generally do quite well, but not if you have to pick it up for $14.99. That was crazy. The shelves were actually pretty bare. I don't know what is going on with these Goodwills, but lots of space left on the shelves. 
I am generally not into metals like silver plate, like this piece that they had for $7.99 that was really nothing. This piece was a newer piece, very, but you, you do want to look for things if you are looking at a specifically silver plate, it needs to have some weight to it and look for the maker's mark. There are some old pieces, um, and I can't even think of the makers right now. I mean, WM Rogers is probably one that stands out for me, uh, but there are some quality pieces that will sell well. It's just, again, it's not my thing. If here, this one, W8, but it's got a sticker. The truly old valuable stuff will not have a sticker. It will have an, an engraved mark on the back. Um, so yeah, watch for that. And um, again, I'm just showing you the metal because I like to show you everything, but it's really not my thing. This was a, a, a fairly nice piece, a footed piece. It was uh, had a maker's mark that I don't remember exactly what it was, um, and I can't read it here. <laughs> so, but a nice footed piece. Uh, the price was about right for four ninety nine. So you could probably it probably sell for like fifteen. You're always going to find a lot of contemporary stuff. Oh, this sad little piece. Now, had this piece been in good shape, this is a nice piece. It's quad plate or quadruple plate. Um, but it really, it was really sad and beat up. And they wanted $5.99 for it. Um, but again, you're, you're going to see a lot of contemporary, a lot of you know, FTD florist kind of vases and things, but just look closely because there are treasures buried within that they don't know about. This is not one of them. Um, again, this is just a plain piece of green glass and the one next to it, cobalt blue, desirable color, but again, it's, it's easily found. So it's like a $5 vase. None of these are worth even looking at and obviously unless you're going to put together like you know the fish the goldfish game uh where you throw the little balls to land in it you probably want to stay away from those little glass bowls too they were just red tag crazy at this goodwill i don't know if that's like a goodwill trend tell me in the comments are your goodwill starting to red tag everything that normally wouldn't be red tag it used to be for the really high end or new stuff. And now it's like, it's just like everything they get a whim to do. Avon bottles, of course, need I say, stay away from the Avon bottles. I couldn't really tell what the pattern was. They had these all taped together. So we just passed right on by there. You will find lots of pretty stuff. Um, I mean, I was really drawn to this, but you can tell by the sticker inside that it is completely contemporary. This is a little gourd. Cute. But again, doesn't have a whole lot of value. And we're kind of going into their wood section now. Was torn on these they were kind of cool it was kind of a cool set but at six bucks eh, I don't think that left enough meat on the bone for my taste along with these candle holders kind of cool but again not I, I'm looking I'm looking for the you know $20 and up profit margins if possible um, I did pick this up this just is a really cool set. It is mid-century and the brand does quite well. Uh, I couldn't find a comp with both the tray and the coaster so I'm pretty excited about that find. I'm kind of drawn to like these little They're made to look handcrafted but totally not. Probably could have resold this for yeah, about 15 bucks. I loved this guy. 
But if, again, five ninety nine for a Philippines crab. Okay, that was fun. I uh, got a few things. I'll. I think I'm most excited about the the snow woman. Yes, <laughs> because now my snowman has a girlfriend or a wife. I don't know how that works. How does that work? Anyway, that was my most exciting purchase. Um, I ended up finding a pair of shoes, which I will show you on a haul video. They're super cool. I'm now going to wrestle. Keep herself. Keep herself. Don't you hate that dilemma? Time to go pick up the kids and then uh, get home and edit some video so I can get this up and running. If you haven't done it already, hit the subscribe button and watch for my next videos. I will get back to daily here very soon. And with that, go be profitable and make it fun.